All right, inspired by the huge response I got to the uh, Marmite video I did recently, uh, I'm going to do a, an easy, simple little recipe with spuds. Saute potatoes. I've got these lovely little baby new potatoes which I'm going to cut up into small bits and then I'm going to saute them in a frying pan uh, with some onion and some Marmite. And uh, I, want, I want you to uh, see how that turns out and I'm sure you'll love it, even those that don't like Marmite might, might like this. So I'll just get the uh, potatoes and onion prepped up and we'll get started. So there we go, I've got the onion uh, chopped up and I've got the, I quartered the potatoes and I've now dropped them into some cold water uh, just to cover them and I'll boil those for about, I'll, get, I'll bring it up to the boil and boil them for about five minutes. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. And I'll boil them now, uh, bring it to the boil and boil them for about five minutes. Okay, so just a quick recap. I've boiled up my uh, potatoes, about a pound of new potatoes which I've cut into small quarters, little pieces, and I've just finished uh, boiling those and draining them. And I'm waiting for my pan to come up to heat now. I want to get a fairly good strike heat on that. So I'm going to let that come up a bit more. Alright, into my pan goes a glug, a couple of tablespoons. And I'm using sunflower oil, but you can use any oil you like. And my half onion, which has been chopped up into small pieces, goes straight into the oil. And I'll give that a quick stir just to get it all coated. Not a terribly high strike heat, but enough to get it sizzling as soon as it drops in the pan. And at the same time they're cooking, in goes my spuddies. I don't skin them, don't like that. As long as they're washed properly, you don't need to worry about skinning them. All the nutrition is just below the skin. The only other ingredients you'll need, apart from Marmite, is a bit of salt and pepper. And just adjust the taste at the end. So I'm going to give those a stir and keep them moving, stirring and frying for a couple of minutes until they're cooked. Alright, it's just starting to brown rather nicely. But I'm keeping stirring and frying it because I don't really want it to stick to the bottom too much. Or you can use a non-stick pan I suppose, if you're that way inclined. And then what I will do now is about a teaspoon of wonderful Marmite. I'm just going to put it on the claws of that so it gets distributed nicely. And I'll start to stir that in. So it, in a way it's a bit like adding soy sauce to a, a stir fry, isn't it? That's not working out very well. Let's get that into there. And mix it around a bit. There we go. Oh, that smells fabulous with the onions now and the marmite. Wonderful dish, this. Lovely. So, what I want to do now is I want to be able to scrape up some of that fond on the bottom when I actually serve these up. So, I just turn the heat off completely and let the potatoes sit there in the fond and that will loosen the fond off the bottom and then when I scrape it all up to serve it it'll be right there in the dish. So there we are I've taken it off the heat and I'm just gonna let it sit there uh, in its retiring heat because I didn't want the bottom to burn and these things really take quite a while to cool down. So, uh, the next thing you'll see is that served up. So all I did there was put a sprig of parsley on top and then um, a little bit of salt and black pepper and they're now ready to serve. Wonderful. Right, let's give them a try. Hmm. 
not what you'd expect. Not nearly as strong as Marmite on toast flavour. Really deep, lovely, rich, umami flavour. Sauteed potatoes are nice on their own, but with Marmite, they're something special. Give this a try, you'll love it. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.